Hey y'all, and welcome back to my little corner of the internet. It's a gist day, and I'm really busy, so I'm just gonna get into it. If you don't know what gist means, watch last week's video. I did a whole gist day vlog with you guys. I'll also have it linked at the end of this video. And I show you kind of what I do on my gist days. But, I've already done some cleaning this morning, so next on my list is to meal prep. And this week's Meal Prep Monday is going to be a little bit different than it usually is. Usually I would make a full meal for the week for dinner, but in talking to my partner about how our routines fit together and what is our best way of eating healthy, and I've been looking more into intuitive eating and eating when I'm actually hungry because my biggest problem with trying to lose weight is that I eat too much. I'm surrounded by food all day because that's what I do. I work with food and so I end up eating a lot more than I should. So I've started this process of trying to listen to my body, eat when I'm hungry, don't eat when I'm not hungry. Obviously it's going to be a long process of learning to listen to my body. So basically I've noticed that like at night when it comes to dinner time I'm not really hungry which I never really thought about because I just ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner like I was supposed to or like we're taught to or we're told to or whatever. We're not really told to like, you know, don't eat when you're not hungry. So I find myself still eating dinner when I'm not hungry because I think I'm supposed to or I have to. So I want to break out of thinking like that and actually just eat when I'm hungry because we don't have a lot of time at night also heating up a whole meal and then eating it takes time away from me editing and from him working so this week we've decided to try something new I'm going to make snacks and we're gonna have healthy snacks around so that instead of eating a whole meal for dinner we can eat a, if we get hungry we can eat some snacks so what I'm talking about is I'm going to make some savory bliss balls. I think I'm going to make some sweet ones too, just in case like sweet tooth, savory tooth, whatever we're in the mood for. And we also have these lentil crackers and just, we both really love sauteed kale. So that's on the list to be one of the snacks or things to have at night. And just small stuff so that instead of having a big dinner, we'll have a light dinner or light snacks. My partner really, really likes snacks. It's kind of insane. He would rather have snacks than like an actual meal. But also trying not to eat right before bed. We do usually have tea right before bed though, which I'm gonna keep doing that. So I hear your concerns. If we're not eating dinner, how are we gonna meet our nutrient needs? Well, that just means that breakfast and lunch and whatever snacks we have need to be nutrient dense. So for breakfast, we're already having oatmeal or a smoothie and I think I'm actually going to be making both now so that we sit down and we have our hot oatmeal breakfast and, or overnight oats depending on what I've made and have a smoothie to take with me to work but then it also won't have to be a huge smoothie it can be just a small drink size I already eat a pretty healthy lunch at work I make something different every day sometimes it's a salad sometimes it's like rice and food bowls and all kinds of different stuff but yeah, I recently found savory bliss balls and was like, why haven't I done this before? I tried it out last week and made pizza balls. They were really good. So I think this week I'm gonna make cheese balls and garlic herb balls. And we're gonna see how that turns out. And for sweet ones, I need to see what we have. I don't know what we have. I'm gonna bring y'all along to play around in the kitchen with me. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on intuitive eating or skipping dinners because I've also heard, I cannot remember who it was, I've heard a doctor talking about how skipping dinner is good for you and I wish I could find the clip but I can't find it because I actually listened to it, I don't know, months back and it kind of just sat with me and marinated with me as I learned to feel when my body was hungry. My partner also has a friend at work that just has snacks if he's hungry and he doesn't eat dinner. And it works for him, so we're gonna try it. Okay, savory bliss balls. So I'm using a base recipe of white beans, nuts, and oat flour. I got the base recipe from, oh I can't remember her 
channel name, but I will link the video in the end card. So for today, my white bean is chickpeas because I have a lot on hand. So the first ones I'm gonna make are the cheese balls. And the base recipe is half a cup of white beans, half a cup of nuts, I'm using cashews, and two tablespoons of oat flour. All right, here's the fun part. Making up how much of the rest of the stuff goes in it to make it taste right. So let's see. I'll start out with three tablespoons of nutritional yeast, half a teaspoon of turmeric, and a teaspoon of paprika, and a half a teaspoon of paprika. If we need more, we'll add it. Don't want to add too much, though. And then I'm going to add lactic acid that's come from beets. Stuff's pretty strong, so we're going to start with a quarter teaspoon. Cheesy garlicky bliss balls. And I'm gonna put these in a airtight container and keep them in the fridge. Okay, next I'm going to make apple cinnamon rolls. I've made a lot of sweet bliss balls, but never an apple cinnamon one, so this 
should be fun. I'm starting with a quarter cup of dates. I'm gonna do a quarter cup of this apple jam spread stuff that we have. I'm gonna start with half a cup of walnuts. cup of almond flour, of oat flour, sorry, not almond flour, a pinch of salt, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. apple pie. Alright, I feel like I am set up for the week to have healthy snacks. This isn't the only type of snack that's going to replace our big dinners. Uh, we also have hummus and lentil thin crackers and a few other things. I will update y'all again in about a week to see how it's going, see how the smaller dinners are doing and how we're feeling. This is a gist day so I have to go finish the laundry, do some cleaning, and get to editing this week's video. So, I hope you enjoyed. I will have all the links to the recipes down in the description. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you're following me on Instagram and you're not watching my story, then you wouldn't have known about these amazing snacks. But I posted them on my story as I was filming this. And sign up for my recipe email list where you can get more recipes from me straight to your inbox. All the links are down in the description. I am the Vegan Rainbow. Thank y'all for watching. Bye y'all.